Fifteen men have been arrested in Sicily on suspicion of links to terrorism and helping facilitate illegal migration. Italian police say the group were charging two and a half thousand euros for the transfer of migrants in dinghies from Tunisia to Trapani in Italy. Let's get more on this now from Salvatore Falco from our Italian service. Uh, Salve, um, what more can you tell us about these arrests? Current a real threat to Italian national security. These are the words of the Italian Palermo prosecutor, who is saying basically that there is still a concrete threat in Italy uh, about a terrorist attack because this organization discovered this morning mm. is still able to provide safe and rapid maritime trips. So when does this investigation start? This investigation starts actually in 2016 when a prisoner, a de radicalized uh, jihadist, mm. starts speaking with the Italian investigators saying, look, you have the risk of a kamikaze army in Italy. Since then, uh, Italian police carabinieri mm -hmm. start following those uh, uh, trips in the Mediterranean uh, and they are now got the evidence that those trips are not only related to uh, mi migrant um, uh, um, journey, but mm -hmm. even to people that is, is wanted in Tunisia because uh, jihadism uh, uh, crimes. Mm. So do we have any uh, information regarding the group? Uh, are they mostly made up of Italians or Tunisians? Absolutely. This criminal group was composed basically be from Tunisian people and Palermo resident, that people that lives in Italy. Uh, and terrorism and criminal association are not only uh, the accusation uh, that are ongoing in this moment, because they even are in charge of uh, uh, cigarette smuggling, yeah. and mostly that was the inquirer, the Palermo prosecutor, are trying to um, do more, more, more investigation is that um, they use this um, uh, way to uh, bring people to Italy, even for very dangerous criminals. I see. Well, you mentioned earlier that the Palermo prosecutor have uh, described this as a national security threat. Uh, has there been any response from the government so far? The, for the moment, we don't have any uh, reaction by Italian Interior Minister. Uh, there is a point. I mean. Uh, the, um, the, the propaganda of security clash with this uh, operation because we see that in the last two, three years uh, people keep coming to Italy despite the propaganda security of the last year. Okay, Salvatore Falco.